What's going on guys? Michael Reynolds here from Godfather Smoking. And in today's video we're going to be doing bacon wrapped chicken. <laughs> Starting off, what we want to do is get ourselves a good quality chicken breast. And what we want to do is we want to butterfly this chicken breast open. Okay, so now you can see we've got our beautiful chicken breast. We've butterflied that open. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start adding our mixture. So we've got our garlic, our chilies. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chop off our garlic. So we just break the skins on these. Now the reason we're breaking the skins on these is because it makes it easier to peel. So we're just going to peel all the skins off of these and we're going to finally chop these up. And these are, this is what's going to impart a lot of flavour into those beautiful, into that beautiful chicken breast that we have. Okay. Fine. Okay, so we're just going to finally drop these guys. Remove the ends. And give these a final chopper. And then we're going to add this garlic into our chicken breast. We're going to grab our chilies. So these are little bird's eye chilies. So I like to remove the stems from them and then de-seed them. You can, it's, it's a personal choice on whether you'd like to keep the seeds in or not, but I like to remove them. Because I just want the flavour of the actual chilli, not the spice. So we're just going to remove the, peel those seeds back. Beautiful. Doesn't matter if we get a couple of seeds in there because it will just impart a little bit of the heat flavour. But we really want the sweetness of these chilies and not the heat. Okay, so now what we're going to do so we're going to finally slice these. Add these on top. Beautiful. We're going to grab some asparagus. Now this is just the asparagus that you can buy in a jar. So you just want to put one piece in there. And we've got some beautiful sun-dried tomatoes. These sun-dried tomatoes, we're going to chop these up. So you just want about three or four. Give these a rough chop. We're going to pop them on 
it as well. Just like that. We've got some spring onion. So we want to remove, of course, all the coarse and real soft leaves that we can't use. Chop the end off. We're just going to give this a really rough chop. Put some of this in there, just like that. Beautiful. Now we've got some beautiful bocconcini. These are little milk cherries. These are absolutely sensational. The flavour in these is phenomenal. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a couple of these, these tiny little cherry balls. We're going to just squeeze them and put them in. So we want about three pieces per breast. Squeeze them, put them in. Just like that. Beautiful. So now what we're going to do is I've got some beautiful bacon here. So this is a nice streaky bacon. So we're going to lay that out and we're going to wrap the beautiful chicken up in this. And what this bacon is going to do, this bacon is going to add some beautiful flavour to it. It's also going to keep it moist as well because the fat is going to render down, go straight into that meat and it's going to protect it so it doesn't dry out. So we're going to lay our bacon out so it's ready. So you'll only need around about two slices for this. So we've got one piece, we've got our second piece. So what we want to do is we want to roll this up nice and tightly so that we get all that beautiful flavour. That's it. Pop that on top. Now this is where it gets pretty tricky. So we need to wrap the bacon up so that it holds everything together. So what we're going to do I've got a couple of toothpicks here that I've actually soaked in some water. So I'm just going to prick those through. What this is going to do is this is going to hold everything into place. So we don't lose anything. We don't lose any of that beautiful flavour that we've got. Do the same with this side. Couple more toothpicks just to hold it all into place to try and protect that chicken breast as much as we can. Okay. So now we've got our smoker up to temperature, so we want to see our smoker up, so it's running at 150 degrees. We've got it set up also directly so that we have a water pan underneath it. This is also to protect the bacon and make sure that it doesn't dry out as well. So we're going to pop this directly onto our smoker. And we're going to allow this to smoke for one hour at 150 degrees. Now we're going to come back and we're going to check it. And once we're happy with the colour that's on the outside, what we're going to do then is we're going to get our favourite barbecue sauce. And we're going to baste the outside with the barbecue sauce and then cook it for another 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes now in our cook time. So let's just take a look at this chicken. Oh, look at that beautiful colour that we have on side of it now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our favourite barbecue sauce, get a basting brush. And we're just going to basically brush this over the top and all over this beautiful chicken breast.
give it a generous coating all over. So we want this, this sauce to set into the meat. So we're just rubbing it in, getting it everywhere. Beautiful. So we're going to jump the lid on this, continue to cook it for another 10 more minutes. And after 10 more minutes, we'll have that beautiful sauce set on top of the bacon. And that's just going to impart that beautiful flavour. The smokiness of the chicken, the smokiness of the bacon, everything's just going to go through. It's going to be absolutely sensational. So now we're ready to wrap our bacon wrapped chicken in foil. So we're going to pour off the smoker. Now, just take a look at that. Absolutely wonderful. So the reason we're going to be wrapping this up in foil is because we want it to keep that moisture that's inside of the bacon, inside of the chicken, so it doesn't dry out on us. So we've got two sheets of foil here. So we're just going to loosely wrap this a bit because we don't want those two ticks to pierce through the foil. We're using two sheets to make sure that we can retain all that lovely moisture and the sauce in there too. As you can see, we've removed it from the foil. Now it's time to slice into this bad boy. Take a look at that. Oh. Sensational. Beautiful smoke ring. All that lovely goodness in the middle. Oh. Thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss a thing when it comes to my videos. And you'll see me smoking next time.